You have to peel off other okay. stuff. What muscle is this? Pec. Pectoralis yeah. major. And you can't put pecs on the <laughs> test or you're gonna lose some points there, kid. So you don't wanna do that, okay. right? This muscle here, latissimus dorsi, does what movement? Adducts the arm. Adducts the arm or arm down and back, you could put. Okay. This muscle here? Trapezius. Trapezius. What's that do? Trapezius. Retracts. Well, it pulls them up too. Shrugging, you could say raises scapula, shrugging shoulders, keeps head erect. Which is the one that depresses your scapula? The you mean when he protracts. protracts or retracts? The rhomboids Wait. retract when I'm standing attention. When I go like this, yeah, that's see. protraction. Okay. This is retraction, right? Yeah. There was something on that sheet that said depresses the scapula. That depresses the ribs. Yeah, it said depresses the ribs. ribs. Okay. Anyway, then if we look here. The muscle going straight up here is the rhomboid, rhomboid capitis. capitis, unique to cats, helps to stabilize those scapula. This would be the rhomboid, rhomboid, rhomboid minor. minor, and this would all be rhomboid, rhomboid, major. rhomboid major. I can feel the spine of the scapula. I can see it there, right? Mm -hmm. So this muscle, supraspinatus, super super this one, infraspinatus. And if I pinned in here, subscapularis. Okay. You can kind of see the terrace muscle down here. If I separate it out, do you see that? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, the big one, terrace major. They usually pin those on the models. And terrace minor is? It's, it's deep right in deep in that. It's hard to see in here. It's, it's right here, basically. I could get it out right there. That's terrace minor. So terrace minor, sub, um, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, and subscapularis are all rotator cuff muscles, those four. Terrace major is not one of the rotators, okay? Now in the kitty cat <clears throat> and in us, right under the skin here, basically when I'm pulling up on this, what muscle would that be? Platysma. okay? Now we could dissect out the sternoid, clitoid, mastoid, but it's it's right there, part of it. But it's a lot easier just to do on the model. model. Plus, it'll ruin some of these blood vessels. All right. So that's all you had to do the other day, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now we are. Do you want to flip that? Oh, serratus anterior. I didn't have a good one, did I? Yeah, right. So, it, yeah, kind of, sort of. See how it serrates there? That's serratus anterior. Who had the really good one? Over we did over yeah. There. yeah. I'll oh, have perfect. to use yours to pin. <clears throat> Hopefully you'll have other good ones. All right. So today, now we'll see how much we can get done here. See how he is. All right. So I'm going to stay on this side, and we got to dissect out our muscles. So... We have to get the deltoid off. This is the hardest thing to get off. Mm -hmm. um, now the good news is, ooh, I already exposed the whole, that one. Anyway. Chicken wing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think about that next time you eat. That, that's about. literally what I was thinking about. I was like, mmm. I don't want to eat that. I can't wait. <laughs> I don't like chicken wings. What? Human. I don't like chicken wings either. There's no meat. I don't think they taste so good. I don't really like bones. I just like getting dirty. I like the thighs. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to do this yeah, other arm. <laughs> just because I took so much of the lat off. Now what I'm going to do, oh, is it gonna break? Uh, oh, God. I'm not breaking anything, okay. I'm just loosening this up She's... and I'm going to put the probe in there, the just trying to get it so I can poke in there. See how I can see blue, so then I know it's safe to cut. Or see the probe silver yeah looks kind of bluish 
The deltoid is a big muscle and it's difficult at best. Get in there. Yeah, I'm just going to do the other side. It's a lot easier. God. <clears throat> this cat's hard. I hate to see your cat. <clears throat> Got to be really careful here because the brachioradialis is right underneath the skin here. So... I want you to cooperate. I kind of ruined his deltoids. But we won't worry about that. I'm just going to try to lift off this. doing this but if I get some muscle in there oh well just trying to peel so I don't ruin stuff there we go finally you cooperate I can't tell you how many brachioradialises I've destroyed. It's been too many. This is what's left of the deltoid up here. <laughs> and now you can see the scapula going over to the humerus. So there's muscle there. And this is muscle here. And I'm trying not to ruin. He's pretty dry. This is fascia, you can see that, right? Once I get the fascia lifted off, then hopefully we can see these upper arm muscles. There we go. What you wanna do is find your humerus. You can feel it in there. The laps go in and insert on that humerus. <coughs> there we go. Be patient. There's the bone. Your triceps has three heads, but you see this big belly here? Yeah. That's triceps. That's the back of the arm. 
And if I pin it, that's all you have to put is triceps brachii. So there's this muscle here. And there's the bone, I can feel it. I wanna get that probe in there, there we go. And hopefully it can roll this muscle off. Come on. So kitty cats, I wonder if I've got a picture here. to get that brachialis separated um, <clears throat> but not having a very good time there we go he is dry there's that pretty biceps didn't I spray them with something last fall yeah I, I didn't spray him the other day So if it's in back of the bone, see this is the bone. So this is all triceps here, right? So it's got it's got a little baby biceps. He needs to lift more. <laughs> here, I got, I'll get the biceps off of here. Just don't want to ruin it. Near you. I can just get in there. This is biceps. This is a muscle you don't have to know here. More of a stabilizer. This is your little biceps. Do I dare cut this? My radialis is right under there. I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna. This is muscle here. Well, I'll worry about that later. Anyway, this is your biceps right here that I'm trying to lift up. Do you see that? Okay. See that right there, that belly? See, this one runs on the side there. This is your biceps, Brocky, right there. And I think it shows you here. Let me show you there, yeah, biceps, Brocky. Um, this side muscle is a muscle you don't have to know. <clears throat> so basically in the upper arm, you need no biceps brachii and triceps brachii. Those two are triceps? Those two, these two are, it has three heads. Okay. Okay, so we don't have the other head, really. How about the, isn't there a brachialis that's in those? Yeah, there are brachialis is buried underneath. Okay. So <clears throat> I separate this. I'd rather pin it on the model. Okay. Okay, now lower arm. This is where it gets tricky. So you basically have to go in and hope for the best. So I'm gonna go in here with the probe and try to get this skin get up. And why I'm trying to be so gentle is that that brachioradialis just hangs. There it is right there, the little sucker and I often destroy it. And I really don't want to destroy it. There you are. Come on. There we go. See how thin that muscle is? Mm -hmm. And it just hangs on that thumb side, even though I cut off his thumb. Um, <laughs> sorry, guy. That's your brachioradialis. But you can see it goes further up here. Yes, no? So if it's just hanging like that, it's your brachioradialis. So now I've got to separate out all these guys. So 
If I get this skin peeled off, and we'll start on the <laughs> forearm, forearm, the forearm. Can you pull my muscle list out just so I don't forget what I'm doing? Um, H2. If I did those, yeah, mm -hmm. break your radials, be careful. Little notes here. So I'll do the flexors first. <clears throat> so, and we'll see the pronator terrace too, it's real shiny. So what you want to do, you can kind of see them under the skin. So you want to go in with your probe and just kind of rip this fascia. And he's a little dry here, but that's life in the fast lane. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. It's pretty dry. <laughs> you can kind of see the tendons, kind of. Oh, he's really dry. Oh. Buddy, you're not going to be the easiest. As long as I'm doing all this, I'm just going to peel the skin off. Might be easier to start with the extensors the rate I'm going. It's really tough skin. Yeah. That preservative. Look at those nice tendons, though. So on the extensor side, you should see four big tendons. Come on. Those muscles are just ripping. The tendons kind of look like cords. Yep, they mm -hmm. are cords. There's one. There's two. I can get under there and roll. There's three. Come on. Lift up. Break your radialis. We need that fourth guy out there too. Him. Okay. Let's get him. Now we're getting somewhere. It's a big one here in the middle, shiny. There we go. Come on, there we go. Is that a muscle or a tendon? What's that? That you just... This is this is still fascia. I like to leave it over in this, this middle muscle. You see how shiny that is? Mm -hmm. That's the palmaris longus. Mm -hmm. Underneath it is the flexor digitorum superficialis. But this big one in the middle is your palmaris longus. The, 
This thing next to it looks shiny too. It is kind of shiny. This one here would be the Flexor Carpi Radialis. This one here would be the Flexor Carpi Ulnaris. Um, sometimes you can see the pronator terrace way up by the elbow, but it's a lot easier to pin in the model, model arm. So the middle one, and again, what do we have hanging off the side? The brachioradialis, did I destroy it? No, here it is. Just hanging there like that, right? Okay, so you got those three on the forearm. On the back side of the arm, there should be, that's brachioradialis, right? And then there's one, two, three, four, there should be four. And so what I usually do is pop the two up in the middle. They're a little shinier. See those two in the middle? They have names in the cat. Okay, they're both extensor digitorums, but they have specific names. Does anybody know the names? This was not my good test. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be. These are both extensor digitorums. The one on the thumb side is the extensor digitorum communicus. The one toward the ulna, is that right? No, no, I'm confused myself. Um, pinky side, pinky side is the lateralis. So, pinky's your little finger, right? Mm -hmm. I did do it right. God, thumb side is communicus. Pinky side is lateralis. So extensor digitorum communicus, extensor digitorum lateralis. lateralis. And I'll have them poked up like this, right? So that means that this muscle here is the extensor carpi ulnaris. And the one here would be here he is, right here, extensor carpi radialis, right? So you have four here on the back side of the arm. And this hang in here is the, and you can see it comes from the upper arm, right? So I would poke these four up, and then I would take another probe and lift those middle two up to show the four extensors, right? And then the flip side here, there are only how many? Three. Three, there's your brachioradialis. The middle one is the Homeris longus. Flexor carpi ulnaris. Flexor carpi radialis. Now I'll put on the model. You can look for it if you want, but to some cats it really shows that I'm, I don't have a lot of hope for these cats. Okay, are we good? Not too bad.